using the CRT library. Now, the CRT library is wonderful. I use it quite regularly in most of my programs. It gives us added commands like text color, go to XY, read key. Very cool. I'll teach you that later. But first off, before any of that, we actually need to know how to declare a unit in our program. Don't worry, it's so simple. It's a few, not lines of code, but le letters long. Very easy. Under program and before your variables, type in U-S-E-S for users. It'll go white. Very good, you spelt it right like I have. Then what you want to do is you want to just give the name of the unit, CRT. That's it. Call on the end and we've done. So that's actually calling the unit CRT. But what good is that if we don't know the commands? Well, because of that, I've actually created a document which lists most of the commands that you will actually need or you will use in the CRT library. A few of them are no good, but I've I've actually created a document in the resources folder where you can actually view um, a list of all the commands. See all this hard work I've done for you? So you, you'll be able to get that quite easily. And then you're aware with all the commands in the CRT library. Here's a few I'm gonna here's one I'm gonna go over with over with. I want to be able to clear the screen because you know like if I run the program you've got all the history of the programs before it and it looks a mess. Well I want to clear the screen. CLR SCR colon on the end and there we have it. If I run the program as you can see there we go nice and easy. It's cleared all the data before it and I've got a nice tidy black screen. So we can enter number 1, 34, 4, there you go. And if I run it again same thing again, clears all the screen before it. So that's a very, very nice command. And one thing I'm going to change here, I'm going to use a delay instead of the read len. Another command, delay. Now getting the time when you delay, depending on what version of Terpascal you're using, because there is a difference between 6 and 7. If you're using 6, you have to put in these huge delays. If you're using 7, you need to put in short delays. So just keep that in mind. Well, I'm going to try delay of 5. Let's see how long that delay is. Four, four, oof, no, too long, 50. Might be a bit longer. Um, three and nine, 27, oh, this 500. You see the, the delay on this must be um, the same as it is on Pascal version six. Four, there we go, 20. I think you're looking about 1,500 on um, this version to get a nice delay. So if I enter 34 and 34, yeah, 1,156. And then the program quits with delay. Now, um, as I say, you'll just have to get used to what are the ver version of using and the delays you want to use for that version. Just take note, if say you are sticking a huge delay, which is like way, way too long, and you enter your data and, oh no, nothing's happening. What you need to do is you need to break the program. And to do that, press the control button and the pause break, and it will actually break the program and get you back to the compiler. So then you can re get the correct thing and then change the number and know where you are. Okay? Now that's just it. So in the next tutorial, we're looking at a few more commands in the CRT library.